I think we can all agree that the modern FPV drones do not fly for very long, and it's just a fact. Two or three minutes for racing, maybe three and a half, four and a half minutes for the freestyle, this is usually all that you can get. If you want more, you have a problem. Luckily, there are a few things that you can do to just fly longer. Imagine that the two first tips are not even connected with the size of your battery. The first solution is to be gentle on the throttle. The less aggressive and more smooth your flying style is, the longer flight times you will achieve. Climb to desired altitude, slowly adjust the throttle and the speed so that you are flying and just keep going. No flips, no rolls, no power loops, just boring plane flight. Boring? Perhaps. Crazy? Not really. Does it work? Aha! Uh -huh. And second of all, make your drone lighter. The more weight, the more energy your drone will have to get from the battery and put to the propellers to just keep yourself in the air. And this is the main reason the lighter drones fly longer than the heavier ones. The most obvious things that you can get rid of are probably those 3D printed TPU protectors for the arms, for the motors, for the camera, everything. Everything that is not structurally supported Supporting your motor's battery and flight controllers or allows the drone to fly, it's just a dead weight. And the same applies to the big and heavy HD camera. Just ditching the big and heavy GoPro camera and the TPU protector for it will most probably give you like 10 to 15 percent increase of the flight time, no problem. And then there is the issue of weather, or rather the temperature. The efficiency of your battery and the internal resistance of of it depends heavily on the outside temperature. The warmer it gets, the longer your battery will work. This is why flying in the winter is so challenging. Yes, in the winter you are cold, but your batteries are also cold. And if they are cold, they just suck super fast. So you will fly for longer when it's warmer than you would be able when it's cold. So when flying in the cold weather, think about the temperature of your lipos. I'm not saying you should heat them up or boil them, but just keep them somewhere relatively warm. And the simplest solution to keep your battery warm during the winter is just to have them under your jacket. Simple, works, why not? The next tip is to Check the tune, or rather check the vibrations of your UAV. The more your drone vibrates, the more vibrations are picked up by the gyro, processed by the flight controller. Of course, some will be filters, but still, some will be still fed to the motors. And those vibrations, those oscillations that go back into the motors, are just a wasted energy. Motor will accelerate, slow down, accelerate, slow down, and all of that will be just transferred into waste heat. So check your tune, check the black box lock, adjust filters, remove propellers, remove motors if damaged, have a smooth flying drone. Because smoother drones are just not only better to fly and nicer to fly, they also fly longer. And only now finally we come to the problem of the battery size. Yes, of course, the bigger battery holds the bigger charge and can power your drone for longer. However, the bigger battery is also heavier, and the heavier battery means that your drone also would be heavier, and as a result will use more energy just to keep the constant altitude. So sure, of course, if instead of 1.5 amp hour you will put a 3 amp hour battery on your UAV, it will fly longer. But uh -uh, it will not fly twice as long. Maybe 25, maybe 30 percent, but really, do not expect too much. This is why it also might be a good idea to forget about LiPos for long flights and concentrate on the lithium batteries. The lithium batteries just hold more charge per weight unit. Of course, you will pay with the fact that the voltage suck is greater, they will heat up more easily, and as a result you will not be able to fly in the aggressive way. But if you will be careful, you will be paying attention to the throttle position, you will just fly much longer with lithium that you would be able to fly with 
lipos. And the funny fact about the lithium packs is that you can build them yourself. Just buy some 18650 or 21700 cells and solder them into the packs of your choosing. And no, you do not really need those special spot welding machines as well. Using a good acid for soldering will make the soldering of the nickel-plated 18650 or Beagle cells not a problem at all. I even have a video on how to do it. The link is in the description. What's your usual flight time and maybe even a flight time record? Drop your results into the comments. You know, a type of drone, a size of propellers, size of the battery and of course the flight time you can usually or in some of the cases get. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!